What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. So, last episode, we were talking about this sea dragon here. And it turns out that um, some of our theories were a little bit wrong. Uh, for any of you who did watch it, it is the dragon that attacked the Lost River base to get the eggs that they had stored in there. That is completely true. Uh, however... What isn't true is the fact that it is a female. So, I figured out some things and I will show like a screenshot right about now. Alright, so what this says is it's about fauna reproductive data. This terminal contains extensive data on the reproductive methods of the local fauna. Fauna on the planet evolved with a single gender capable of both egg laying and insemination. Eggs once laid usually require genetic material from a second individual to reach maturity. In rare cases, there is only one true parent with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself on the delicate genetic structure of the child. Research appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. This is consistent with the theory that the aliens were invested in manipulating the life cycle of the local species to their ends. So, pretty much what this says is that every single creature on this planet has no gender. Um, they have both male and female like reproductive parts, essentially. And, uh, yeah, so technically it is not a female uh, it can do both. So, that's uh, pretty interesting information. I did not know that. Um, Miss Eden on the Subnautica Discord let me know about that. So, uh, thank you to her. Also, um, I know a bunch of you are going to say that the devs confirmed it to be uh, a female. Now, you guys told me that. So, I pretty much checked the sources and I went to the Subnautica Discord talked to the wiki keepers and they pretty much said that that's not true um there's only one gender on this planet so the lost river base here has been updated very slightly uh there's now the broken glass here inside which is pretty awesome looking if you ask me there is also the glass in here um this one is now broken and these are fish tanks like i originally thought which is pretty awesome this one is not broken and then if we come down here this one is broken wide open i'm actually stuck against the wall right now what is going on all right so we are in here this um glass is here as well there is some weird gravity going on right now like I keep getting pulled to like right here for some reason whenever I come out see like if I swim up here it won't let me actually stay there it like pushes me back um, I had a crazy time getting through there so uh, the warper is here there are going to be more warper parts in this base I will show a picture of it now um, they look pretty cool it's essentially just this big guy right here just cut into pieces and put around so um it looks really awesome and i can't wait to see what they do more here so we do need to come into this tank here and talk about this little guy um a lot of people seem to be triggered by the fact that um i called this guy sea biter leviathan or Biter Leviathan, actually not Sea Biter Leviathan, but um, now this is just a theory. There are no essential facts to prove it, but there are no facts to disprove it at the same time. If we do a size ref right here, as we can see by all Leviathans, this thing is pretty massive, right? I mean, look at that. We are as big as its eye. Um, I will also show a screenshot of a reaper next to this right about now and you can see that they are pretty similar size you know the reaper might be longer but um, body wise you know this uh, this one is pretty similar and from the facts that were included by scanning uh, this skeleton and by 
getting the terminals saying that they have sea dragon eggs here and that this thing has arms similar to the sea dragon and that they were doing genetic mutation from the pop-up that showed up um, you can pretty much conclude that it may be that it, it's like saying if a husky mates with a corgi that the dog is only a husky it's still part corgi whether it is exactly like it or not um, but so I just wanted to talk about that really quick show the size ref show the screenshots uh, the technical definition of a Leviathan if you look it up just says a very large or powerful creature um, you can't tell me that with these teeth that that would not be powerful at all or would be able to um, you know just straight up destroy you all right so there is actually a new infection sequence in the game all right so the command is infection reveal Isn't that pretty awesome? It shows the Karar growing on you. It shows your hands cracking. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, and it looks really creepy. The the like amount of work they put on the Karar is just absolutely absurd, to be honest. Alright, so um, that's pretty much it for the Lost River here. We don't really have anything else to talk about for the Lost River, but we do have to go to the prison. So let's go over there. All right, so we are here at the prison, and as you can see, they have added two more cubes, like these uh, energy generating cubes. Um, so there is the one, two, three that were originally there, and then these. Um, these do look a little different because of, um, I just think the lighting from the lava, opposed to no lava, so. But those are there. They have been working on the lighting for the prison here. And it looks pretty good. Um, pretty much just like every other base. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, nothing else really has been added. Uh, everything else that has been is uh, pretty much just in the dev only for the prison here. We can even double check. Um, also when you do the infection sequence and you get the infection from the Karar, uh, you still don't get infected. So the actual like coding to be infected is just not in the game yet. And you, what well, we found out from the last like creative stream we did, uh, you can't infect a sea dragon or reaper leviathan. And just to prove it, self scan, we are still normal even though we have all these cracks on our hands. So. Uh, that's going to be it for the episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed um, some pretty interesting information. The infection sequence is pretty awesome. So if you did enjoy, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. As always, your guys' support has been through the roof. So thank you very much. If you aren't a current subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. So that way you can keep up to date with all the content and news coming out for Subnautica. And as always, guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Look how massive that makes it. We can now see all of this. I believe that has to be the active lava. And then we can even see above here, which I believe is the bottom of the Lost River. Because the thermal base here is actually almost directly below the Lost River base. Um, you can even see the big cavern here, so that's pretty cool.